and welcome back. Uh, last segment we had uh, Bishop here with us. This segment we have Belize's premier chef, if not my favorite chef. And for those uh, persons out there who are going to be a little bit more adventurous for Mother's Day, as Marlene would say, for the guys out there who want to impress their wives or their mothers, he's going to be sharing with us a recipe uh, using chocolate stout. So it merges two worlds together. Men, we like our, so our stout. And the women, they like their food. So today we have with us a um, uh, chef who needs no introduction, uh, Sean Creelin, who will be sharing with us his recipe for braised oxtail, cassava al mojo, mm -hmm. and saute spinach and eggplant. So I you could eat something. I could spinach eat something. And eggplant. I was telling him off air that, you know, this is like, it is, rep it is a payback for me dealing with the bishop in that segment because I'm a vegetarian. So... For me, this is like absolute torture. But chef, but take us drink, straight. You drink a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Marlene, <laughs> what better to make the tech stout already perfect, not true? Absolutely. If it's not perfect already, then guess what they do? They put chocolate in the Good God. son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> More perfecter. More perfecter. Perfecter. <laughs> so. I love this time of the year. It's a seasonal. It comes uh, in at the month of May. So we have chocolate festival long south. And in the south of Belize, we grow chocolate, cacao. Beautiful um, worldwide. People ah. love chocolate. Um, in the Christmas, they make sorrel stout. It's a seasonal, like I said. So what better way to incorporate it with the food? So you mean the Caribbean, they work, right? They study. Study. But you still never eat the um, oxtail and thing. I you're had a vegetarian. To. You're a vegetarian a long time or you're, you're <laughs> recent? Uh, since your dread grow. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Sean. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm not hearing half what you're telling me because this part is completely All right, me. good. So <laughs> we need another part there. We're going to make an axe tail. What is axe tail? That's our axe? No, that's any cow. You ever drive around Kayo and then you go down, um, you see all the cow there and the tail, the what so? <laughs> Sometimes you see like, like Wally Conker step on the front and you like, <laughs> like he the kill. No, no, Conker is the kill, bruh. Anytime you go so, it's a bit flavor, right? Because it is. It has uh, collagen and connective tissues. And this is like still here. It is a hard piece of meat. You can't eat that like that. The only way you can cook this is braising. So what is braising? Belizeans know braising as stew. We call it stew, like stew chicken. It's a double com combination technique that takes, first you have to brown it, right? Just like the brown chicken, right? Stew mm -hmm. chicken. Yes. You always brown it, you put the ricardo, then you brown it, then you put the liquid later, and it becomes stew chicken. Technically, that's braising. So what we're going to do, we're going to brown the ox tail, which is from the cow. Mr. Mr. Ferguson Caliente. was saying that it is similar to pig tail. That like that, pig tail? Is it true? Is it, that's the same taste? Well, texture. why are you not trying to tell me? And you see, though? <laughs> you see, though? <laughs> it is a tail. <laughs> so that means it's flavorful. <laughs> it's full of it. It's flavorful. So what we got over here? This so I like to cook. Every time I cook, like I always tell people, when you go beard, you know, just beard with water. So you have to build with soap, you put with mm. You know, you build with flavor. You build flavor. So how do we build flavor? Body Speaking wash. about ba building flavor. Suppose, for example, I take the stew chicken. And what are the recipe for stew chicken? Ricardo chicken, water, right? Mm. Technically, right? So technically, if I take Ricardo chicken and water, I it apart. Would it work? No, mm. because you come out bland. You come out like well, albino. You come out with no color, no flavor, no character, no. It's not, you know, chocolate uh, bellicine stout is not, uh, full of sugars and caramel and beer. So you, you can't get it on that way. You put the chocolate. <laughs> so we're going to cook with flavor. What I did here, I always tell people I cook with stock. This is a beef stock. You could make vegetable stock for yourself. You could simply take, yes, this if you go to the store, you could buy stock. They sell it already, you know, beef stock. But this is the lazy version. Yeah, this guy barcode. Oh. <laughs> well, figure. <laughs> this one is stock. Look at it. Clear. It is simply carrots, onion, celery, and we put beef bone. Where they call the cheapest part of the meat, you know. All we do is suck out the flavor, mm. and we put it in the water, and then we have build flavors. Again, these kinds of these recipes, you cannot just throw everything in the pot. You got to build flavor. So I could send you to the market for me. Yes, sir. We got Ali Guyara from there. Now, Gary, you call it Guyara or Ali Dori that I'm a market, right? Can you please get me some carrot? Carrot and some celery. Make us even know that. Put some oil. How many do you need, Chef? Give me a, any amount you like. So you see a vegetarian that are your part. Boy. I'm not insured, you know. Brother, you think we call you without cook for chuba, we don't play and, and celery. Celery, uh-huh. Bring mushroom to it, right? Mushrooms. 
Bring everything, man. If I bring the wrong thing, don't worry about nothing. Show that in there. Act still. Remember, we got to brown it. We have to give it, sear it hard. Make that's why the fire hot. You know, I get the desired results if you don't brown it, right? So like stewing, right? Braising. So we're throw the act still in there. And you have olive oil in there. Olive oil. I would think that you would have coconut oil. Why? Knowing you. Or coconut oil. Ah, coconut oil. Why? This is cooking with personality. Yes, man. That's what it is. So we put the at steel, right? Brought some scallions for you. This is, mm, you know what? Beautiful carrots from Boston Village, Kunamul Farms. Heirloom carrots, straight in, man. <laughs> The whole thing? But show more, man. More, okay, Put good. Man. I want, they got this. <laughs> I see they have opened the door, they can't think they have no. <laughs> I want to show some mushroom. <clears throat> you help me cook, man. Just put it in there, right? Just toss it in. That's it in there, that's it in there. Right. right from there, you can put it right there, man. More? Okay. Put carrot. Did it look good? It look like Bob's Bunny, like, like, <laughs> like when it... <laughs> look in there already, man. That looks good. So, celery, give me more celery, please. More celery. I'm gonna put some mushroom for. In Asian cuisine, there's a, there's a, you know how many um, the flavor profile that they have sweet, savory, bitter. There's a, there's a taste called umami. Umami is one of these new uh, tastes that they just discovered. They said it smells good. Umami is defined as delicious. So when you eat something like, 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 like mushroom, it's earthy. Or cacao. By the way, with the tabo cacao. How did they make this stout? This stout, so we got onion, right? Yes. We got celery, we got carrots, and we have brown it, right? And we have mushrooms. Remember this thing, you can't cook this overnight. I mean, it can't cook this in a little short amount of time. You gotta brown it, brown it, brown it. Then you gotta add the liquid, and this will take at least two and a half hours to cook. Wow. Because remember, this tough bad man, you can't, you can't eat this here. You can't bite that, this is tough. What, what would happen if you put it in a slow cooker? Yes, perfect. Braising in a slow cooker is perfect because you set it and you leave it all day, you go to work, you come back, and then you Melt cook. off of the bone. And I will tell you, guaranteed in the next two hours and a half, that's what melts off of the bone. When you eat it, you don't need no <laughs> knife nor no fat. <laughs> so, what would they do now? With the brown, with the brown, we're gonna put some garlic, right? Look in there already, man. They say, they say you eat with your eyes, but you eat with your, you eyes. Eat with your nose first. Because <laughs> this, man, good gosh. You eat with your eyes, you eat with your nose, you eat everything. <laughs> so, this is the cacao from PG, right? Yeah. This is a it's, cacao it's raw form. nib. Nib. Means grated? Bitter, like the outer shell, like the brand. You know, 100% cacao bitter, right? Yes. You have to put least sugar in it, right? It, it, it's not uh, It's not Kit Kat. It's not Kit Kat. No, man, I don't Kit Kat. <laughs> Yes, brother. So, look how they look, look how they look. Did you get there, right? I'm learning. Then, what are we gonna add? Remember the liquid? Stock. Yes, you could throw that in there, and I could take this one that I made. I'm just giving you two options. You could put stock, right? After you're done, brown it. And you could throw all that in there too, right? You know, the, you know the falsehood in this? We might watch you doing this and think this easy. Easy, bruh. No. Is it? Are you no. the cook? I don't mean the cook. I'm sure if you try it at home <laughs> and you try everything that he does, uh -huh. it won't have the same. Mm -mm. It won't. Yes, sir. You think so? It All right. Will. Look at that. Look in there. That's beautiful. You see how that look? That's and beautiful. This is, this is technically what you call kofu soup. So take off, you don't even reduce it. Is that the teal? That's not the teal. That's not the bone. That's not the teal soup. That's not the teal. That's not the bone. That's not any bone you go to the market. You okay. see? This is the cheapest cut. You could get this for dollar a pound, 50 cents a pound, 75 cents a pound. So people call it. Dog. People buy it for their animals, but Let me see we're extracting flavor, sir. Flavor. Oh, so this to make the stock, you just so that just bones. bones. Remember that when a garbage have that is, or you hook your dog. What we are interested in is this. So my... This is this. Uh... You go to the shop, you buy this. I make this here for cheaper than this. Somebody at home is saying garbage. Yeah, that garbage. <laughs> they think it's garbage, but it's not garbage. So Beautiful. what are we having here again? You have carrots. Onion, celery, carrots. That's called mirepoix in French. Mirepoix. mirepoix. And then we take and we brown. And in PG, what is it called? In PG? <laughs> Why? We call it PG market. We call everything <laughs> that the market going there. We got a mushroom. So what else we could put in there for making nice? 
What's, we the, put... what's the purpose of the show? Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's to put stout. <laughs> yeah. So, guess what? We will add stout in there. I'll take this one. Yeah. Thank you very much, good sir. Yeah, give our next one the caravan hat boy. Then the one the cool boy. Cool, yeah, that's for you. Thank and you. To make it get color. Corner man. When you pour it the label so. I don't make it go so. And you pour us so. Motherfucker, I don't want to be that still, I don't want to swim in there, bruh. I would not want to be that still because after it is gonna be devoured. <laughs> That tail was start to swing it in all kind of direction. Do you think there's something special about the chocolate stout that gives it a particular appeal to deal with that's the a great, pairing? That's a great question. And guess what the answer? One way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Can we drink a national Of TV? course, why not? You just... <laughs> cheers, cheers, sir. This one cold, that one hot. You are the Why? Ay, ay, ay. It's one of my favorite stouts, man. You know what I like about that thing? Eh? It's almost like... You open a gift and you don't know how you are. Every year it changes because of the terror and the rain and the landscape and this earth. And last year's one was probably good and this one probably better because every year it changes. You never know. You know where they get all the chocolate from this for this Belikin? Out of a village called San Felipe on the Barranca Road. You ever go to PG and go to Barranco? Yes, been there once. Yes. Right before you reach Barranco. No, uh, yes. There's a village there right there from a kind of name Ish Cacao Chocolate. So nothing fake, nothing imported. By the way, speaking of, what else I could put in there? I put stout, I put onion. Look what I found at the market. Wow. Dry rub seasoning By from Moho. Moho. Moho local is again. Local chocolate. So when I see it, I say, man, if you read what all in there. What, what if I can't read it? You can't read? <laughs> <laughs> Organic powder, allspice, black pepper, uh -huh. garlic powder, paprika, turmeric. This is awesome. So, Cumin, my favorite. What? Sugar. Hib it in there? Show some in there. Hib or show? Hib. Dash. <laughs> Soon cut it. Hit me in your throat more, you know. Why, you dash it away? Why, that's not problem. Tell me if you're you know. Why, it's... Go there, man. Good guy. Tell me where you're going. Since you add seasoning, we got seasonings here. Because we have to flavor this thing. Remember, I got water. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know where the in here. We have to smell it. This one. Oh, you know Cinnamon. Where Cinnamon. Yes. Put what three are there in there. See that you the cook now, I know they do nothing. I'll be it's... over here drinking. If you don't come out good, then... Ah, bruh. <laughs> where this one? What do you think? I know this that is one. time. Smell it. Oh no, this is um an, uh, no. 10 what? grams herbs. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Cumin. Oh, it's cumin. Sorry, yes, cumin. Put some, put whatever you put there. Dash some. Dash it way. Dash it way. Not dash it way. She again vexed. Okay, we're flavoring I, I, this water now. I should have known that one. Huh? I should have known that one. You know where that one? This is Bailey's. Bailey, put what tree are they? Yeah. Boy. Boy. Belizean cuisine. They say we don't got cuisine, huh? What do you think about that? Ooh, smell that one. This is rosemary? No, no. smell it again. What do you smell like? Anise? Aha, uh -huh, green I, thing. I get it. Green thing, anise. How <laughs> do you know that one day? We're going to be full and drunk at the same time. No, about nothing. That means you're going to be happy. <laughs> smell that one. You know that again. This is cinnamon? Smell them, smell them, smell them. You don't put cinnamon. OK. Aha, uh -huh, you got it right by your tongue. This is like when you have BNSE and you don't know the answer to the question. <laughs> Nutmeg. Nutmeg, yes, that's what Put it is. man. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Nutmeg. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, the people, Nolan Mike Lee just gonna put chocolate in a stout. In genius G Genius pairing. Uh huh. This one. What is it? Finally, time? Rosemary. Oh, peace. And I get none of that right. You don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> you have no time. <laughs> you see that you the cook, you remember where they put? Guess what I can tell you today? Usually I cry, I don't got no recipe, but today, we don't start there, right? I have a recipe. Wow. Right? It will be on your Belkin Facebook page, on my page. This one is all spice. All spice, yes. So what have we put so far? All spice, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, anise. We put leek cumin, we put bay leaf, we put stout, we put carrots, we put celery, we put onion, we put love, we put... Excitement, passion. <laughs> Why not put some cacao too? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Why not? Good. So guess what happened now? It's a mad scientist. Excited? Oh, I we need it. to put one more thing. I love it. This is braising. Tomato Remember, piece. tomato paste. Why do we put tomato paste in something like this? Because we're Belizean. We put a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. We put garlic, right? Why would we put tomato paste? Because this, this oxtail is a tough piece of meat again, remember? We need some acid. 
Yeah, oh, so we have to bring the... down the collagen. Uh, and I guarantee you, brother. Me not bring no knife here, you know. I bring <laughs> a spoon and we eat that with a spoon. About half of the... Put one? all, sir. All? Put all, put all. And that'll give I, I like color. That. And you look like the... Remember the, the, the cacao is brown and then the, the, like the coastal road dirt and the southern highway, the red dirt, right? And when it comes together, it look like one. Like you ever see stain, like when you stain a piece uh -huh, of wood? Uh -huh. Dark, why? I can't mahogany see. stain. Oh, mahogany stain. Love I'll it. put tomato product again. Tomato paste, tomato dice, tomato can. And guess what, brother? Look at that now. We don't start it. Look what it happened. It ain't even 10 minutes. But look at the color. Look at the color, yeah. The stout, the cacao. What else? I, I'm repeating in my head that I'm vegetarian. Oh. I'm vegetarian. I'm vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> but look at it, man. It's beautiful. And you know, reduce it. You know what happens when you reduce? Create the sauce. The, 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 the evaporation. And the more the water, the liquid evaporates, the thicker it gets. And like when, when my music said, the soup is getting thicker and thicker, <laughs> the leher, the lassus. You put it on the bumper of your car, it's just even a bumper nice. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Eddie, I need you. So, we are sending this at the oven, right? Yes. We got an idea when we do the center of the oven. Pull up, man. Come. Pull up, man. We need to carry one. I'll carry two of them. Or left this one here. We need to carry the oven. Actually, you could leave it on the stove for two and a half hours or put it in the oven. Anyone. As long as it's on heat. No, I got next problem. The stove stop work. <laughs> Eddie, I need my butane in this stove. You know where that happened to it, Cho? I guess really I don't. Can we really cook, boy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adiwa. Now that fire. Carry that fire and come back again. Good. Soon, can I hire a too? All right, no problem. We don't worry about that. So, where we are eating this steel with? That is cooking. My favorite food to cook is cassava. cassava. Why? 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 Because um, I'm not Garifuna, bruh. <laughs> you are Garifuna? <laughs> yes. Yes. I got sure. a brother who said he's a for years down. <laughs> I don't know what that means, bruh. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know either. Boy, we have fire again. Boy, yes. I like this place here. Yeah. Yes. So, cassava. Cassava, there. Can you shopping for me? Yes, man. Cassava, cassava, sure. cassava. Because we need. Take, in the United States of America, if you eat oxtail, you're gonna eat it with mashed potatoes and yeah. So this is cassava, right? But we don't cook no potato, yeah. We cook cassava. Something fly off just though. <laughs> so what are we gonna do? Peel the cassava. Dice the cassava. There's a fibrous. Everything is drop, bruh. There's a little fibrous. Membrane inside, you take it out, take it off, peel it, I boil it, right? When I don't boil it, I'm gonna take another pot. The mojo sauce is what? Mojo is the seasoning that we Yeah, it's, um, it's like a little Cuban inspired food. We're gonna take butter, right? That's already butter there. Sorry, What's the to... red thing in it? That away we're going to, bruh. Let me start to cook again now. Talk to me, man. You know, quiet for me, man. <laughs> I think you need a drink, man, huh? If... Hmm? That was mine. No wonder you got lipstick on it. <laughs> <laughs> I see the bad lipstick, sir. I wonder that yours, sir. Where my is it in? That one? Your one is there. Mmm, no nah, more. Good. All so right. about one stick of butter? Let me start again. We're taking cassava. We peel it, we boil it. The, the, what the cook again? The oxtail. Oxtail, cook. yes. It's in the oven. Yes, it's in the oven. We take butter. For two hours. Two hours. Put butter. Put it in there. Make it melt. What else? Not 18, not 20, 19 cloves of garlic. Wow. <laughs> Boy, when I tell you garlic, no, don't worry about it. Put a lot, a lot, a lot of garlic. It's going to be a very noisy bedroom in the night. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> With the stout. <laughs> With the stout, too. Boy, that's a symphony, that's an orchestra. <laughs> Boy, they are decorating everything. I can tell you. Put Garlic, not afraid. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of garlic, right? And and this is to go into the cassava. Yes, we're gonna put that. We put garlic, man. Make that cook, right? Give a spoon, make your stir it. Stir up that. What else am I gonna put in there? Lime juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go shopping again. I need shopping, sir. Lime. Lime, please. Okay. Can you bring lime for me, please? When you get there, I want to bring the yellow ginger for me. You know the yellow ginger? I like this Ooh. place, man. You just call for it and you come. <laughs> I could call for something else. Ay, 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 ay. So, what is yellow ginger? Turmeric, right? Yes. So I put butter. Oh, I put onion. I forgot to tell you, you got to put a lot of onion. Don't worry, the recipe online, right? Onion, butter, garlic, 
lime juice. You know how that tastes already? You ever take like a piece of lobster and you put butter and garlic and lime alone? That alone is perfect. And then you go and you put it on a piece of cassava, sir. Huh? I could imagine. So I can imagine. You should peel this, right? But I just want to get a sense, right? Because with the cook 100% Belizean, right? And then you want to put it, I'll put this in there, but you see the yellow color? Right? Yes, I should peel it first and I'll just demonstrate. It has a, the turmeric has a bitter mm -hmm. sort of... Smell them? The aroma is amazing. Shall I continue? Go ahead. If you now have yellow ginger, if you're going to the market, you can't find it because the only PG market you'll find anything. You know? <laughs> you know, we have our basic markets in this country. We have a Saturday market, a San Ignacio market, Dangriga got a lot of cassava. You, but you know, this is hard to find. PG, everybody got it. And, and it's Kade, a miracle route, you know. Kade, make, uh, takari. Speaking of PG, I found this at the market. Here, at the supermarket. Uh, Truly. Kunamul as well? No. Kunamul has one though, I'm this sure. This is from, from a lady in Punta Gorda. If you read in, what is in there now? What is oh. in there? Ingredients. I think you drink the bus stuff, you know they read, man. Well crafted, well crafted. cool turmeric, mm -hmm. root, cold pressed coconut oil, mm -hmm. fresh lime juice, mm -hmm. sea salt, <laughs> black pepper, and citric acid. Citric acid. So it has coconut oil in the water. Coconut oil. You have the acid, you have the turmeric. Put some in there, man. Lot or leave it. Leave it. You don't yellow. Imagine. Well, <laughs> talk about rainbow. You got chocolate sauce, you got turmeric. Imagine how you look like <laughs> Oi! Did you get that? Yes? Because so it is. Right? <laughs> My brother. It's coming along? Yes, sir, man. Holy salt, too. No friend for yes, man. It's vegetarian. <laughs> right? See or no? Wow. Because wow. it's flavorful. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there's a secret that I like to do. Here the secret now. You see this liquid there? Look at this liquid. Starchy. See this liquid there? Starchy. starchy. Look how sticky, starchy. <laughs> sticky, starchy. This has, in Garifuna, the starch of the cassava is called darara. It's like you're using cornstarch to thicken Chinese cuisine. Yes. Why would I throw this away? This is like pasta water, boy. <laughs> you ever hear they say thicken your sauce with the pasta water? Yeah. Put your cassava water in your butter. Right? Now, what are we going to do with this now? Okay, let's kill it. We're going to put this in here. Right? Look at that, how it's gelatinous. Look how it's juicy. Yeah, that's the glass of the... I want to tell you something, you know. I will have you eat this because it's a vegetarian. <laughs> this dish, you will make it again. I guarantee you, you never taste cassava like this before. I wasn't paying full attention to everything, but, but the recipe is online. I will remind you again. Yeah. You take the cassava. Right? Uh -huh. You take the cassava. You boil the cassava. You take the liquid, you add it to this sauce. What is in here? Butter, right. lime juice, onions. Look there. Again, I want to swim in at this side. Ah. Watch it now. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Put it on there, right? Look at that color. Son of a gun. This goes in the oven, too? Yes, it goes in the oven. Since we don't have a TV, I will remove this, right? I'll put this here. I'll move my stout. <laughs> Remember that I asked this one done, you know? Right? Two hours, yeah? Done. Yeah, two hours gone already. <laughs> I'll put another pack for you since you're a vegetarian. <laughs> no, we are satisfied you right now. No! In French, there's a thing called gratin. You ever go to a restaurant and say, potatoes are gratin. G R A T I A N, gratin. Fancy word. Well, all these fancy words for nothing. Gratin means to burn from the top. It's like a, like a, uh, you know, you have a grill, like fire come from the bottom, bottom, and this one is from yes. the top. So if I throw this in the oven with some mozzarella cheese, oh. son of a gun. You ever go to Canada, they have a dish called poutine? It's like when you put, there's a bottom part of the oven. Yes, the uh, bottom is called the broiler. So yeah. broiling means heat from the top. Grilling means heat from the bottom. bottom. So we're gonna broil it. So you take it, you see across the part of the bottom where uh -huh. you never use when uh -huh. you're going to have cabwebi <laughs> That's the part you are used to today. You are taking this, you are treating it at the broiler. We don't have a broiler in Channel 5, so we have to use this thing here. Fire again. Yeah. Fire. In Canada, there's a dish called poutine. What is poutine? French fries with a cheese sauce. Wow. So if you want to call this cassava poutine, if you want to call it gumana poutine, if you want to call it gratin, I don't know what you are calling it, you could invent the name, but all I know. That right now when I give this thing in your mouth, 
You'll Amazing. never taste cassava like this, man. What kind of cheese is that? This a is mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. Uh, this comes from the Benelites of Belize, right? It's gonna it, stretch. Yeah, stretch like stretch my guts. <laughs> and then, I think I need me. I want back my oxtail, please. Where's the chef there, boy? The chef there, the text over there, where did he do? He's extracting it from the oven. He's extracting, I want it right there. <laughs> right there. Son of a god. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, you see the color? You, you see it matches the model? Oh, I, dark and low. <laughs> My favorite colors. <laughs> Boy, this is beautiful though. Yeah. You don't see beautiful see yet, that? man. See beautiful day? See beautiful wow. day? All Belize, I like you put the map of Belize. Wait, man, wait. Yeah. When you taste that thing, look at how it's bubbling. It's bubbling. Here, you do, you do it too, man. I go shop it. Me and Fire, I know my name say it's a bad idea. No worry about that. <laughs> Just make it brown and melt. And... Remember, put your broiler and your across stove, right? Yeah. I'm going to put some olive oil here. Right? It looks good. This is beautiful. I think it's good. Done? Great. Excellent. I need to get one of these. Excellent. You can get this. You can go to any hardware store. Check this out now. Olive oil. Onion. Garlic. Garlic. I'm going shopping. I'm going shopping. I'm going shopping. La 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 What else do I put in there? Spinach. You like spinach? Yes, a lot. Cherry tomato. Cherry tomato. Oh. Watch out, you know what we're gonna put here in the pot? Habanero. Ah, uh, yes. You know what we're gonna put in there? These chilies are from Kunamul again. Look at this. That's a color boy. You think they're they not imported? There are no barcodes. They come from Belize. <laughs> Look how sexy. Like this uh, model here. <laughs> Spinach. What else do you want in there? Why? Eggplant. We have two varieties of eggplant. I'm coming along again. I don't know how to go. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah? Did you get that? No fail, you know. The, the spinach will get wilted. It will wilt. I put some butter. You want to put cacao though? Put cacao flavor in. Why not? Love it. You want to put some nutmeg? Spinach loves nutmeg. You want to put some eggplant? Spinach loves nutmeg. Oh, spinach loves that nutmeg, bruh. He love it. I like papaya. He love it like Jenny Lovell love it. He love it like Jenny Lovell. All right. Put that there. All right. Put that there. You think we can't cook vegetarian? Bye. Ah, yeah, what yeah. else I want to put in there? Stout. No, we don't put stout. Somebody says stout. <laughs> Since you want stout, I'll put it here. <laughs> I put it in me and then I cook the food. Does that work? Does that count? Oh my god. Personality gosh. and personality. Oh yeah, yeah. What am I looking for? The ladle. Do you remember the beef stock earlier? Yes. Remember the beef stock? Yeah. Put some in it. Right? Ooh. Hi, can't take it by. It's violent. You ready? Yes. You ready? Ready not to take this. Not make, not make. Where are you? This one. And the cherry tomatoes are yes. just. Not make. Cherry tomato one pop in your pop, mouth, boy. Yes. When they pop in your mouth, boy. Huh? Vegetarian? Yes. Cement? You know, Garifuna, you call it cement. Move this fire. Time for plate of Ready? How long, how long does the eggplant need to, to That's cook? That's fairly quick. 95 minutes. So, let us recap, man, because things happen. Oxtail, brown it. Onion, celery, carrot. Stock, beef stock. I cook a chicken dish, I put chicken stock. I cook a vegetarian dish, I put vegetable stock. How do you make a vegetable stock? Don't put the bones of the beef. Don't put the bones of the Just fish. The carrot and the carrot celery. celery. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Look on that. Colors. You look. Describe it for me, sir. And your adjective, sir. Sexy. Sexy! Boy, you took it out of my mouth. <laughs> Mother of fire. So we need plates. Tabo, sexy. This is gorgeous, though. You don't see sexy yet, man. Let they, that cook. They say you eat the rainbow, we have, we have yellow, <laughs> you eat the red, rainbow, some green, <laughs> and we have chalk to the brown. Boy, look here. You want spice, you put my fire. You want, make, make me see how the oxtail look, man. I'm going deep, right? Remember, I tell you, I don't bring no knife to this place. Funny carrots, they drop, watch it. Look at that. Hey, ay, ay, just me. Hey, ay, 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 the chocolate's you stout. See, you, see, you see the, the, the meat? <laughs> Pulling off the bone already. They drop off the, yeah. the liquid. Yeah. Boy. Like Boy. Oh, man. Ay, ay, ay. This is what I call gumption. This is a gumption, man. Mm -hmm. You said it right. Mm -hmm. You couldn't say it any better. Oh, wow. Gumption. What is gumption? <laughs> <laughs> you know why you get gumption? I can explain why that gumption. Gumption is a technical term it, because it has the collagen. The, 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 what you call it? The, the gelatin. And that ganina, the liquid. And the liquid turn into. You said it perfect, sir. This is a gumption, bruh. You know that. what? Put some in there, man. Oh. Oh, oh no, yes, there you go. I forgot you're not vegetarian, There goes the vegetarian. Ay, 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 ay. This is on purpose, you know, I think so. I forgot, sir. 
<laughs> now, what are we gonna put here? This is cilantro blossoms. Wow. This is micro greens. From Kunamul again. Kunamul micro green. Right? Cilantro blossom. Oxtail. What is? We got cassava. We did next. <laughs> Your market is soon done, sir. My market done. Why I forget why? I gotta put the meat <laughs> at the thing. Hey, close your eyes, my brother. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You did it on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose, sir. I was already, I'd already eaten that. Anyway, you can't get excited, man. I get excited. Look here, right? Look here, right? Look here, right? Hi. When, when, yeah? when you were, when you were thinking of what to put together with the oxtail and the. Mm -hmm. What, what specifically? I can tell you what I like though. Balances out the... Yes. Now a good question because you know what? I always say I'm a, I'm a thief, right? I thief bad. I like to take techniques that are proven, especially like French technique. French technique is the mother of all cooking, right? That not mean now I go to a cookbook and I can, I can reproduce things. Anything that you could find in a cookbook, in any foreign cookbook, we could substitute here in Belize with Belizean ingredients. Anything! I, I wish you challenge me. Tell me something. <laughs> It could be clam chowder. We don't have clam here, you know? So we got conks. So we uh, chow the clam. We don't put heavy cream, we put coconut milk. Coconut milk, clams. You got conk chowder, bro. You call it chowder. You put, you put value-added words to it. Like, like this carrot was heirloom and organic. And you have the cacao. And this is going to go on this because it's, 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 what you call it? Cocoa nib. And then it gives crunch. And it's from San Felipe village. And it's organic. And it comes from a farmer called Juan and Abelina show. And it gives value to it. And you make you feel good when you eat it. And talk about feel good since you could eat. Try this cassava. No barcode. No barcode, bruh. I like barcode, you know. I like barcode when it go, you know, so it's wow. stretched there. It's hot. My hand, it tremble and all. It's hot. You know what I like barcode? I approve of barcodes when it come on a product from Belize and it get exported <laughs> away. Then I like the barcode. Yes? You agree with me? Yes, of cassava, brother. Wow. Yes. We don't like, you know, we don't like something. Probably better than potato. Of course, because we don't call it Irish potato or English potato. We call it cassava. What call you, Gary John? Gumanana. Boy, it's, look, look at that. The flavors are playing in my mouth. It's playing in your mouth. <laughs> because see, we are playing in my mouth. Because see, this flavor is playing in my mouth. <laughs> this is good, though. Hmm. The turmeric. Turmeric. It's cassava. almost like, wow. Bye, I gotta put the liquid there. I have to cook another one for you now. <laughs> but I can tell you how it is. Delicious. Spinach, eggplant, cherry tomato, cassava, oxtail with chocolate stone. I can't do nothing more. This, this would be an impressive meal for Mother's Day. I think any... <sighs> I'm, I'm sure that your points with your wife or your mother yeah. would skyrocket after a meal like this. Yeah. This is we'll figure. impressive. Yes. Absolutely impressive. And the chocolate stuff goes on store, goes in stores. Listen, now we're seasonal, right? That means you know they all the time. And you know what Belize I like the most? Things where we can't get all the time. <laughs> because when you can't get it, it's nice. I mean, Belizean chocolate stout is made from, come from Ladyville, right? Come with Belizean, make with Belizean water. Be Imported from Ladyville. Imported from Ladyville. If you go to Placenta, you drink the water from the tap. Yes, kind nice. You go to Danville, you drink the Gumarga Roo water. You go to PG. When you go to Mexico, you drink the water from the tap? No. So where you drink the beer for? <laughs> <laughs> Good answer, sir. <laughs> so, that's it, sir. I can't do anymore, man. Well, I want to thank you. I mean, surely, you, we won't have the personality of Chef Quillin in your food, but his spirit and his recipes are going to be available on the Bellican. Yes, it's right there on the Bellican page. Website. It's going to be on my Facebook, my Instagram, chefquillin.com. Uh, and guess what? If you don't got the personality, don't drink the stone, you'll get personality. <laughs> I don't know what kind of personality you'll get, but you'll get something. <laughs> That's value added. <laughs> well, thank you, Chef Quillin. Thank you, sir. We're going to take... Uh, a break, and then when we come back, we're gonna have Jenny Lovell with us. Broke it down, Jenny, and we're gonna have more fun. See you in a bit. Thank you. <laughs>